The Dothraki culture that we see from uh, in George R. R. Martin's books. They're warriors, they're nomadic, they're excellent horsemen. And so from there, what you kind of have to do as a language creator is think about if this is what their life is like, you know, if this is what the area where they live in is like, what kind of things do they have access to? And so little by little, you build up vocabulary that kind of reflects their world. For example, in Dothraki, just the general word for good that means, you know, that's good. Um, it comes from the, wor the root meaning useful. There were certain letters used in the book that strongly indicated to me certain non-English sounds. And I figured if it's going to be authentic, if it's going to be what the fans of the, of the books would expect, you'd have to use these non-English sounds. And so I just figured, you know what, authenticity here trumps ease of speaking. It was, um, I mean, it's, it's an incredible language, getting your mouth around the word. Like, they're so expressive, you know? They're, it's a really harsh, kind of, quite an ugly sounds. It's, it's basically like Arabic and German, and it's insane. It's, it's really, really hard. So I just kind of recite it all the time, then you gotta figure out what you're saying in English, and it's, it's been hard, but it's a great challenge. It's really worth um, for trying to do it right because it sounds right, you know, and if you do gaba hujo de bagaba, it always sounds really crap, so it's, it is worth trying to master it. Uh, but yeah, it's very impressive, and it, again, it does feel very um, real, I believe it.